Hello, welcome, bienvenue, welcome to my channel. Action. I know it don't show, but I'm falling. Cigarette smoke, sick from drinking. Baby, don't think I will save you. But I hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, hi, my name is Deborah. In today's video, we are going to be looking at, dear Jeeves, the ColourPop Butterfly Collection. Okay, let's get right into this business. I gotta film and get this video up real quick because this launches tomorrow and or November 21st if you're watching it on Not Tomorrow. <laughs> I don't mean to confuse you. I do not have pricing information for you. Pero I am going to assume that everything is priced the same amount as all their other stuff on their websites. So we'll go based off of that. But anyways, ColourPop was so kind to send me this entire collection. I forgot to mention that. That was very nice of them. Thank you so much, ColourPop. This channel is pretty soon gonna become just a ColourPop review channel, and I'm not mad at it, to be honest. I'm not mad at it. This is gonna be a pretty long intro, so if you don't care about the review and you just wanna skip right down ahead of the tutorial, I will leave a timestamp in the description box below. Okay, let's take a look at the packaging first of all. We have the Flutter by Palette, okay? Oh my god. So pretty. This does not have a mirror in the thingamajig. That's okay though. It has 12 shadows. Personally, I never used the mirror in a palette anyways. I couldn't care less. This packaging is so pretty. It's got glitter on the outside. Oh my god. It's literally, literally glued on. The glitter is. Oh, it's so pretty. Here are swatches of that. Look at me. I swatched in a normal fashion today. You can almost see them all on my arm. Wow, Deborah, are you learning how to swatch but still not learning how to bend your freaking arm? You can just call me an idiot. <laughs> I don't even honestly know what I'm talking about, but these swatches are real nice. I told myself I was gonna wear a cute outfit to film today and um, then I swatched on my arms and realized I couldn't really change my shirt without messing up the swatches. So uh, you're seeing Hobo Deb here in her true natural form. <laughs> I don't know why I'm standing up right now. I am guessing this palette is... Okay, I'm guessing this is $18. Every single color swatches beautifully. Super wearable shades. I love purple shadows. So this speaks to my soul. And those are all the most wearable purples ever. Oof. Woo, binge. Purple looks so good on so many eye colors too. If you have brown eyes, purple really makes them pop, which is probably why I like wearing it so much because I have brown eyes. $18 for that, a great price. As per usual, ColourPop's pricing is amazing. And you can use code 5 Debra to save yourself some monies, boy. That'll save you $5 on your ColourPop purchase of $20 or more. That doesn't get me anything, by the way, uh, but it does get you something. It gets you $5 off. So congratulations to you. Now we have four super shock shadows in here and two jelly much shadows. I use the jelly much shadows in my strawberry collection review and tutorial. I don't think I'm gonna be using them today just based on the colors I think I wanna use. But if you wanna see how they perform, you can watch that video. I will link it down below in the description box. But they are very, very pretty. They're kind of like, they're a jelly. I mean, there's no other way to describe it. It goes on like a jelly, but then it dries down matte. Obviously your lids aren't gonna be freaking wet all day. But um, I used it to kind of cut my crease without having to cut my crease with concealer first. Worked lovely, love the way that look came out. You should check it out. I'm going to go down the, uh... <laughs> hello, is anyone home? Super shock shadows first. And this, oh shoot, I've already swatched them so they're not gonna look that cute on camera, but you're gonna fucking deal with it and you're gonna like it. <laughs> this is the color ringlet. Very nice. Really loving this color personally. Oof, and this is the color Mighty Morphin. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Wow! And this is the color Flying Circus. That's me and my musical talents just for you. Okay, and then this is the fourth Super Shock Shadow called Like a Butterfly. Sure wish I hadn't swatched them beforehand so you could see the cute imprints in the things, but uh, I just had to open it before I came on here and I just had to freaking swatch and I just had to do it then. Anyways, here is, oh! Here's one of the Jelly Mutt shadows in the color Buttercup. Those come with this little lid on the top, if you can see that there. 
which keeps it from drying out. A very nice touch, if I do say so. And here is the Jelly Munch shadow in the color Bouquet. Oh, that's cute. I just got that. Bouquet. It's spelled B-O-O-K-A-Y. Like bouquet of flowers? Ha <laughs> ha. I just got that because my brain is slow. And if you are wanting swatches, oh my god, little lady, are you in luck or what? Because I've got them right here for you. Yeah, little lady, aren't you glad? Aren't I just such a good YouTuber doing swatches for y'all? Let me hold my arm a little closer to the camera, should I? Wow, look at those shimmers. So these first four are the Super Shock Shadows and these two are the Jelly Much Shadows. And you can see they're all shimmers and they all swatch so beautifully. So if you wanna see all of the swatches at once, here you go. Here's me and my hobo habitat. Uh, you're welcome if you wanted to see what I like to dress like around my house. <laughs> A complete hobo. <laughs> Leave a comment and like this video if you also dress like a hobo on the regs, you know what I mean? And you know, while I'm thinking about it, I forgot to ask you to like and subscribe to my channel. Could you please be so kind as to like and subscribe to my channel? And also check out the other videos on my channel when you're done, cause you know, they might be more crazy, they might be less crazy, depending on your preferences. Whoa, okay, let's get this show on the road. We've got some things to swatch now that requires me probably washing off the current swatches on my hands slash arms, they're called arms, Deborah. Yes, I'm gonna go wash my arms off from the swatches that are on there and then I'm gonna come back and I might even be wearing a nice shirt for you little ladies, but I'm still gonna be wearing these shorts cause you can't see. I don't know why I give pointless details. Anyways, I will be right back. This is way too much talking. I'm gonna have to cut this all out. Be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm wearing, oh my God, a presentable shirt. Look at that. Deborah is not a hobo anymore. She is a half presentable human. Anyways, we have a package of five Creme Luxe lipsticks. I have no idea how much this bundle is. 40 to $45 would be my guess. I'm sorry, I don't have pricing information for you guys. So we get these five Creme Luxe lipsticks here and they come in this really cute little box. Super cute. And their Creme Luxe lipsticks really do look beautiful, even just the packaging. And that one was the color Come On Clover. And then we have the color Slow Dance and the color Virgo Moon. And guess what? I have a Virgo Moon. I don't know if any of you guys are into astrology, but I am, so. Then we have the color Oasis. Beautiful. And we have the color Come On Clover. Oh, such a good nude. Send nudes. So here are those swatches for you. Oh, these colors are so pretty. Come on, Clover, Slow Dance, Virgo Moon, Oasis, and Bloom to Gloom. Very nice, very nice. We got one more thing in this box, people, and it is perhaps the most exciting thing. We got this Pixie Puff Highlighter, and it is large and in charge, people. Using my head as size comparison, it is quite big. And it comes with this beautiful puff inside. This big puff means you can highlight your body, which is why I wanted to put this decently cute shirt on. So you can highlight your shoulders, binge. Oh my God, okay, look at this thing. It is huge, I love it. Woo, woo. I don't know if the sparkle is picking up on camera or not. My shirt is falling down. Whoopsie daisy. Hope I didn't have a nip slip there. It's just the right amount of highlight where you're not like beaming to the sun, but like it gives you just a little bit of glow. Oh yeah, it's just a hint of shimmer. Oh, that's nice, binge. Whoa! In person, it is beautiful. And I have no idea how much this is. They have never sold one of these before, so I don't have any point of reference either. My guess is like 15 bucks. Okay, so I'm going to go do an eye off camera, and then I'm gonna come back, do a little eyeshadow tutorial for you. I have had a lot of requests to do more full face tutorials, and I will, but when I do a review video, the review part of the video takes so much time that if I were to do my whole face on camera, the video would be like 40 minutes long. What, what is on my forehead? Oh my God, I've been talking like this, like a freaking chimney sweep. Chim -chimney, chim -chimney, chim -chim -chim oh my God, I don't know how long that's been on my head, so I apologize. Okay, I'm gonna go do an eye camera. I'm spending too much time here yapping about nothing. I'll see you in a minute, little lady. Okay, y'all. So I'm back. And as usual, I took much longer than this eye actually took me to do. Good, good. Okay, I don't know if this background goes, but I don't know if it doesn't go. What do you guys think? I'm feeling too lazy to change it, so we're gonna keep it. That's the answer. So 
I already prepped my eye with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in 40N. And I set it with powder because we are doing an easy breezy wearable look today, you guys. Wow, a wearable look. I would actually wear this out. I sure would. So let's get right into this video, shall we? Hello, Gizmo. Oh my God. So we are going into the ColourPop Flutter by palette. And we're going in with the color Lush. We're taking that in on a Smith 232 brush. And we're just putting that down as our transition color high in the crease. Now we are going into the color Made to Last, and I'm taking that in on a Smith 247 brush, keeping that color a little lower in the crease. So we're gonna do windshield wiper motions and then some swirly swirls. Now we're going into the color Angel BB, and we're taking that in on a Smith 230 brush, and we're keeping that low in the crease and just deepening up that outer V. And we're just make sure you pack it into that outer corner there. Now we're gonna take the color Gotta Fly, and we're taking that in on a Luxie 245 brush. We're going to spray our brush first with some ColourPop Pretty Fresh Setting Mist. And then pick up the color on your brush, just so you get the maximum color payoff, my dear. And we're packing that all over the lid, kind of like we were doing a half cut crease. And to know where to cut your crease, just take your head, tilt it back, and you can kind of see the outline of your eyeball. And you want to follow that outline, and that's how you know how high to take up the color. Because a lot of people's creases, like mine, are much lower than my actual eyeball. But following the guideline of your eyeball socket will help you to have a more open eye appearance. And boom, easy peasy, y'all. That was actually incredibly easy because this color is just such a beautiful shimmer shade. So we're gonna darken up the outer corner again, just a little bit with the color Angel BB. And we're taking that in on our Makeup Shack T58 brush. And we're just packing it in the outer corner just to make sure there's a nice blend out here. You don't want any harsh lines. You want it to be a nice, soft gradient from the shimmer into the outer corner. I think we did it, y'all. I think we did it. So now we are going to do our eyeliner. And we are going in with the Il Maquillage Infinity Longwear Matte Lip Cream in the color Matte Lord on a Sigma E06 brush. So say a quick prayer to the gods of the wings and then pray that they will be with you during these difficult times and then you go in with your wing, darling. And what I like to do to know where to draw your wing is I imagine the bottom lash line simply extending up. So see the curve of the bottom lash line? Just imagine that's going right up. Okay, y'all. So the eye is pretty much done. I am going to go clean up some fallout. I'll tight line my eyes as well, which just means that I will line from under the lashes with the Marc Jacobs Fine Liner in blacker. That helps your eyelashes to blend in. And then I'll do my face off camera and then I'll be right back to finish up the under eyes. And then we'll do lips. This video is going to be wrapping itself up real quick, honey bear. It sure is. Okay, I will see you real soon, sunny boy. Okay guys, so I'm back after many, many hours of dilly-dallying as per usual. Whew. And as you can see, my face is done and this eye is completely done. I have added some stars. Ooh, do you like? Can you see that there's stars? So let's just finish up this other eye real quick. My eyebrows need the help of Jesus um, while my face looks crazy right now. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna need to get some Botox because they are looking really lopsided. Woo! Yeah, that's not normal. Okay, let's just do our eyes and see if we can make this face look half decent. <sighs> this dress. We are going to go in first with the color Angel BB on our Makeup Shack T58 brush. And we're gonna keep that as close to the lash line as possible. Do my eyebrows look more normal now? Or nope, nope. Yeah, I need some Botox. Woo! I'm sorry, that's the face that God gave me. Isn't that nice that he gave me such a lopsided face? Now we are gonna go into the color Made to Last on our Morphe E18 brush just to further smoke out that under eye. Boom, people, we did it. Am I reading really um, tan? Whatever, this is what it is. Woo, I'm a little stressed out about the lopsidedness of my face. Um, yeah, really looking crazy, amazing. Okay, now we're gonna go into the color Just Imagine on our Sigma E30 brush. You can use code Gen at checkout to save yourself some money, boy. And we are just going to pop that into the inner corner. Ooh, girl, 
just the right amount of inner corner highlight. We love it. Okay, I'm obsessing over my eyes right now. Get over it, Deborah. We are going to pop on some of these beautiful star glitters. And I got these on Amazon. And they came with this special tweezers here. I'm gonna put them on with this waterproof clear eyelash glue. Take it with the tweezers and just put a little tiny bit on the back of the star. And then take that star and place it right in the corner of the eye. And you can see the glob of glue right now, but it will dry down clear, just like it did on this side. Woo! And I will link these gold beads down in the description below so you can find them. Ugh, oh, damn it, it's sticking to the dang tweezers. Hello? There we go. And boom. And now we're gonna just put one on the center of the eye. Boom, people. <laughs> Okay, so now that the eye is done, I'm just going to pop on lashes really quick off camera. I'm using today the Lily Lashes in Miami. So I'm going to put these on and I will be right back. Darling. So our lashes are on. That means our whole face is almost done. We just have to do lips and highlighter, people. So we are going to try out this new ColourPop Puff Highlighter. It is a body highlighter, but we're gonna see if it will also be a good highlight on the cheeks. And if it's not, we can always switch to a different highlighter. Oh, bitch, look at how much that shows up on the chest. Can you see that? Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm loving it. Ooh, oh my God, this is beautiful. I'm using me out so you can see. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see this highlighter right now, but it is amazing. And I am feeling it. Oh. Oh my god, the shimmer. Mmm, bitch. I haven't been this excited about anything in a hot second. Okay, so we are going to take a Morphe M501 brush and see if we can't highlight these cheeky cheeks. Okay, it's not the most beaming cheek highlight I've ever seen, but it is pretty. Hell yeah. Okay, that is really pretty. Do you guys see that? Ooh. I am feeling this. I'm especially feeling this for the body. Absolutely stunning. I am not mad at that. Ooh, we look wet. I'm just gonna spray the face with some ColourPop Pretty Fresh Setting Mist. Oh God, this just smells so good. Again, you can use code 5 Debra to save yourself some monies. Boy, on all. ColourPop products. You have to spend $20, but it's still a pretty good deal. And again, that doesn't give me shit, boy. It doesn't give me shit. Oh, I forgot to highlight my brow bone over here. Let's pop on some brow bone highlight. I'm going in the color Just Imagine and the same Sigma E30 that we used for the inner corner and just going to touch some up here. I did this on the other side and just simply forgot to do it on this side. So, whoops. I'm done with my eyebrows right now. I am done. Y'all need to get it together. Do you hear me? Y'all need to get it together. <sighs> okay, let me let me just go collect myself in the other room. <sighs> okay, please, please ignore my eyebrows. They are stressing me out to no end. Don't leave me no fucking comments about how they don't match. I have eyes too, I can see. One of my followers DM'd me and she was like, your eyebrows don't match. And I was like, bitch, that's the way God made my face. I didn't say that, but. It is the way God made my face. I don't know what you want me to do about it. I guess I will go get Botox in the morning. <laughs> no, I won't, but I wish I could. All we have left to do now, ladies and gentlemen, is lips. It's merely 2.30 a.m., no big deal. That's practically early for me. Okay, we are going to do the berry color because it's the only one that I feel like matches this look. And that'll kind of tie it in with the background, which I have been clearly stressing about the entire time. Because that's what matters here, what color the background is. Oh my god, and I almost had an aneurysm because I was like, oh my god, is my, is my backlight off center? Oh my god! Is it a full moon? Because I'm acting crazy. Okay, so I'm going to put on the Creme Luxe lipstick in Come On Clover. Come on Clover, come on Clover, baby. And then I'll be right back. Boom! And our lipstick is on, and I'm happy with this choice. What about you? Yes, binge. Ooh, this is such a good, like, fall berry 
Christmas berry holiday berry. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave out your holidays. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I am just a selfish lady and I only think about my own self and the holidays that I celebrate. I'm so sorry. Anyways, I gotta go contact my doctor about this eyebrow situation. <laughs> Do you think Botox would help? But anyways, about this collection, it is beautiful. I feel like this is such a wearable palette. This is one of the most wearable looks I've ever worn on this channel, if you ask me. I would definitely leave the house in this. I would go to an event. I would go anywhere with this. And you don't need to put the stars on if you don't like the stars, but why would you not like the stars, hmm? Bitch, you got something to say about my stars, hmm? Anyways, I feel like the stars add the nice little touch of zhuzh and pizzazz. I don't know about you. Leave me a comment in the comment section below with if you agree or if you want to go fight about it. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't fight, but these hoops might say I fight in any mean. Anyways, this collection is beautiful. ColourPop's eyeshadows never, never cease to fail me. Never cease to fail me? That is not what you meant to say, you stupid, stupid bitch. They never cease to amaze me. They are such a good price point. Again, I believe this is probably around $18. It has not launched yet, so I do not have exact pricing information for you, but that's how much all their other 12 pan palettes cost. And for $18 for a 12 pan palette, find me another 12 pan palette, which is so high quality for that price. I don't know how they do it. They keep having release after release. And every time the shadows are amazing, I have no complaints. And this highlight, ugh, by far my favorite thing in the collection, okay? This excites me so much. It's just so freaking cute, first of all. Like this container is hella cute. This puff, oh my God. When I was a child, I would have died for a puff like this, my darling. I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer on the body, but it does work as a great face highlighter as well. A little less intense, I would say, than like your average highlighter, but still a nice pop there. I am not complaining about that. I would certainly use this on the face again. The Creme Luxe lipsticks I already knew would be beautiful because I already own quite a few of these. They are a little pricier than their lippy sticks, but they are beautiful. I also love the lippy sticks, but it doesn't seem like they're pushing those as much anymore. Don't quote me on that. I don't work for ColourPop. They don't pay me to make these videos, but they do send me the products for free, and I'm so, so, so grateful because then I get to make videos for you guys. You know what I mean? Anyways, what else was there? Oh, the Super Shock Shadows, yes. So I was originally going to do a cut crease look with this color Ringlet, which is such a pretty color and literally the reason I chose this background, if I'm being honest. It wasn't working out for me, not that the shadow wasn't working out, just it wasn't looking the way I had envisioned in my mind. But the Super Shock Shadows are really nice. If you like Super Shock Shadows, you will love these Super Shock Shadows. I showed you swatches earlier. They swatch beautifully. They will be beautiful lid colors. But you don't really need them. This palette has all the colors you truly, truly need, in my opinion. I mean, there's so many looks I feel like you could create with this palette. All of them very wearable, because these are all very muted. Purples, they're more like mauves. They're mauve tones, darling. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I feel like I'm kind of yammering on at this point for almost no reason at all. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and hit that notification bell. I also go live on Facebook and do makeup tutorials there. If you like seeing the entire process with no editing so you can see how it really goes, you can follow me there and turn notifications on so you don't miss my lives. Oh, 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 we almost forgot the question of the day, yay, yay, yay. Please, in the comment section below, tell me, what do we want to ask today? Oh, I don't know. My mind has no thoughts in it. What's your favorite kind of animal, y'all? This is an animal themed thing. Butterflies are kind of an animal. So yeah, this question is perfect. Oh my God, Deborah, Could you come up with any better questions? You're brilliant. My favorite animal, of course, is the dog because my dog, Gizmo, is the sweetest boy. Let me just wake him up and show him to you guys. This is my sweetie. His name is Gizmo. Oh, he's grunting because he's so sleepy. I know, baby. 
the people wanted to see you. He's so fluffy. Whew, so that's Gizmo and oh, I love him. He is a perfect, perfect creature. Okay, that's enough babbling. Y'all don't care about that. So I guess that's about wraps up this video. I don't think I forgot anything, but I've been wrong before. That about wraps up this video, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in my next video. I have a lot of videos coming up. Your girl is a regular YouTuber now. Are you proud of me or what? You proud of me or what, mom? Are you proud? Are you proud? Are you proud? She'd be like, no. Deborah, get a real job. Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you guys later. T-T-Y-L, L-A-L-A-S, swag. I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. This is cute. This is real cute. Bam, 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 bam. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 ba -dum, bum. So get my toilet charge. Get my toilet charge. Get my toilet charge. Toilet charge. Bum, 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 bum. This has been Deborah's choir session. Aren't you having fun? Yes, you are having fun. I declare it in the name of Jesus. Oh, my nose itches. Don't mind me. I'm not picking my nose. I swear to God. I'm standing up here because I'm a crazy person and I don't know a better way to do this. Wow, I look like a hobo. I like how leggings are my version of nice clothes. You know, my going out clothes. You, you don't know what color foundation you want by this point? Oh my God. What a dumb bench, darling. Is it very good? <laughs> Womp, womp. Come fly with me, come fly, let's fly away. You don't give an F what color background I picked my bed. Um, 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 keep your little peepers out, sunny boy. You stupid bitch. Come on, Clover, come on, Clover, baby. Why would you not like the stars, hmm? Bitch, you got something to say about my stars? Hmm? Was it me? Are we liking the butterfly headband or nah? A complete hobo. <laughs> That's all, folks.